what is up guys welcome back on another video today we're going to unbox another statue this one's pretty massive got a coolie from water bear studio ex version now i already took the contents of this box this is just an empty box so that i can just like lift it easily because it's pretty heavy so this is what the box looks like i'm just gonna show it to you guys it says katakuri now it has um two versions as you guys can see this is just the regular version without the ah, this is the ex version i mean and the bottom one this is the regular version so the regular version it doesn't have like um katakuri's devil fruit as you guys can see here so it's just a plain like rocks where katakuri is standing they have the same pose but the difference is just the base so it, as you guys can see it, it's it's different um he's using his ability as a double fruit user his mochi mochi i believe so yeah this is the box and this is the front of the box pretty awesome katakuri looks like that so I'm pretty excited to unbox the statue and assemble it, so let's start it right away. Okay guys, so this is what's inside of that box. This is the styro where the statue is being held. So there's a sticker here that says 204. So I don't know if that's the number of the statue or they, that's just something like they put on the box but yeah it has two straps to secure the statue so let's take the straps first okay now the strap is gone let's take a peek what's inside so this is what's inside of this like um styro so that's how the statue is being like um stored so we're gonna take the parts one by one and I'm gonna show you in the camera. Okay guys, we are going to start taking out the parts of Katakuri. First part, we got um, a hand connected to the base. I believe this is a Mochi Mochi ability of Katakuri. This is the difference between the regular um, version and the EX version. So what we have is the EX version. So that means we have like this Mochi Mochi ability connected to the base. So there's a hole here. So something must go inside in this um, hand right here. So this is the first part. Second part, we got another a big hand right here. I believe it's connected on the base as well. Third part, we got a hand right here. Same thing. Fourth part, we have a stand and a coin. It says Katakuri on the front. Now at the back it says one p or one pie. Charlotte Katakori. I don't know what that why does it say it's one pie? Water Bear Studio. And it says here overseas 154. So that probably means that this is number 154 on the overseas version M series. So um I believe they release Asia differently. So Asia has different numbers and overseas has different numbers. So part number five, we got a light, light, lightning effect. Part number six, we have another lightning effect. It has a rock here. Part number seven, another lightning effect. Part number eight, another lightning effect. So I found four lightning effects. I don't know if there's more. So this is number eight now. Part number nine, we have Katakuri's spear. Now the stilt, or like the this part right here, you, you guys can see you can remove like um, the very end of Katakuri's like um, spear. So this is part number nine. It's pretty awesome. It's like pretty long too. Okay, part number 10, we got a very tiny uh, lightning effect. I found another lightning effect, so... Part number 11, 
This is the 11th part of the statue. We got Katakuri, so or Katakuri's body. This is like what you guys see in the front, what you guys see in the back. So um, I believe the height of this statue is about 53 centimeters, or let's just say 55. 53. And like the width is 25 and the length, so it goes horizontally because of the spear. The cool is holding the spear, so it's about 55 like centimeters horizontally. So it's kind of like tall and wide. So part number 12. Part number 12. Um, this is um, Katakuri's ability. Part number 13. We got a broken mirror. You know, if you watch One Piece, you know why um, why it has a broken mirror or what's the reference on the broken mirror. Part number 14. We got Katakuri's head right here. Part number 14. Part number 15. We have this effect there we go part number 16 so there's this is two parts i believe this goes on katakuri's sh shoes i don't know but part 16 I'll, I'll just say 16 on both of this part number 17 we have another lightning effect part number 18 we have another of this white mochi mochi ability of katakuri part number 19 we got another mochi mochi effect so part number 20 we have the base right here so far we don't have any damage and at the bottom it says water bear studio or like water bear and the picture of katakuri so so far we got 20 parts to assemble what is up guys so these are all the parts of katakuri so we're going to try to assemble them on this video and that's the most exciting part so um, it's not too much this is okay 20s or, or 21 because I counted this two small parts as one so yeah let's start right away Okay guys, we finished assembling Kanakuri. It's not that hard. Um, I managed to find all the parts. So this one is like the most hardest part for me to find like where this um, mirror was going. But then I, so far I saw it. And take a look at Kanakuri. He's pretty massive guys. Um, almost maybe as big as my upper body so if I stand his about on my shoulder 
So the big but because of like his is like on a table that's why so 55 centimeters or like 53 to 55 and yeah so let's um, turn this on first okay so far I I like this statue so one of the statue that I really really love um, Charlotte Kadokui so it's pretty awesome um, even though it has like um, 21 21 parts um, but it they are definitely um, easy to find and all the parts fit in right away on the hole and the peg just fits right in I have no problems assembling them the ma the magnet um, they're pretty strong you can find it like right away and yeah so um the the challenge for me is finding where all the lightning effects um goes into but it's not like um the holes and um, where the lightning effects are sh um, um should be going as hidden so for me it's pretty awesome it's um i have a wonderful experience like um, assembling the statue I don't know guys if you saw my video me unboxing Kaido from Evil Studio that one took me forever to assemble this one um, it it's easier this one's easier I love Katakuri's pose this is my first um, statue of Katakuri by the way guys and this is my first statue from Water Bear Studio so far the studio for me is a 10 so far I never had any bad experience and yeah this one's quite a, uh, a little bit expensive because like it's the EX version of course if you're going to order the regular version you won't have this hands on the mochi mochi hands if you have uh, if you order the regular version so you don't you won't have the this hands on the base and for me um, I like I like the EX version more even though it's a little bit expensive so I managed to um, save a little bit more to take this version of Katakuri the painting is really good I don't have I don't see any scratches only some some styro particles on the statue because like there's like a lot of um, styrofoam um, on the statue so I just uh, wipe it or blow them out blow them out of the way so yeah now we're gonna take a closer look and discuss uh, how the katakuri looks like okay guys so we're going to have a closer look on katakuri let's start with let's start with the face so if you look at him from this angle you you won't see his mouth so if you look at him a little bit far away you can see like his tooth sticking out for me um, I think so what I think is um, it's better if they covered the mouth with this fur so something like this you can only see his see his like um, eye and a part of his nose because on the anime you don't see katakuri's face unless he take this off but if you look if you're looking because I'm, I'm i'm a little bit taller right now but if i level my myself on katakuri you can still see the mouth um for me it's i think it's better if they cover the mouth completely if you're going to like see him on the same level because you won't see katakuri's mouth on the anime unless he take this thing off so far it's pretty good still um pretty pretty nice like um sculpting and quality the color is pretty awesome i don't have anything um bad to say about this statue so far this is one of my favorite statues so categories muscles the veins of the hands the details the spear so mochi mochi ability trying to look like um, it is blown away by the wind when 
Katakuri thrusts his spear. So it's pretty awesome. Take a look at the other hand. I like Katakuri as a one piece character, not just like this statue. So yeah. Katakuri's back. Pretty awesome. Take a look at this muscle right here. Um, I thought when I look at it first, like this thing is connected to the eye, but it's connected to his um, clothing right here. So it looked like there's like a light lighting effect or lightning effect on the eye if you go sideways. You know when they use their hockey, what do you call that? Conquerors, something like that. So this is the back of the base. Let's start with the back. Okay, we got some styro effects. That are styro effects, styro particles right here. That's why I said it's there's a lot of styro on the on the on the statue, but those are not like painting debris or like um, worn off paint paint. So this is the front of the the base from the Katakuri's legs so this is the part where we can remove this part remember the small parts that I sh shown you earlier so this is where it goes on Katakuri's um, boots or leg so yeah this is just my opinion on the statue I don't know if you guys like it just like the way I do um, but this one is a solid 10 for me um, pretty easy to assemble no broken parts one of the most important things to in buying statue is to make sure there's no omit there's no missing parts there's no broken parts whatever got a coolie um i like the sculpting i like the pose i like the painting so almost everything i like about the statue that's why i'm giving it a 10 i like the character too i like the base and i like the effects of it doesn't have light uh like a too much effects but for me that's just enough uh, i hate assembling like like a lot of like pieces together especially the smaller ones um sometimes they're very hard to find and we got ourselves a coin here got a cool coin this is what i'm telling you guys one p it says one p one pi i don't know why I don't know why it's weird. But yeah, we got ourselves the coin right there. I'm sorry my camera keeps on blurring because I keep on moving it. So uh, yeah, I apologize for that. And what do you guys think about this katakuri? And I'm sorry for <laughs> I apologize for the clutter on the table too. Uh, I've I sold some of my Pokemon packs right now. We got Chilling Rain, Infusion Strike, and Shining Fates right there. 300, about 300 like um, pieces. So I already sold my Evolving Sky, somebody bought it, like 300 pieces. So yeah, that's the news for me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And what else? What else? I hope you guys are going to continue re to receive a lot of blessings in your life. And stay safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't for hit, forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us a lot. Um, help me grow up the channel. And yeah, take care, take care. This is the last part of our video. Say goodbye to Katakuri and have a, have a wonderful day. Peace.